Hey, it's Kethran, and we're back for another Terror in Victor video, and it's another tips video. And this time the subject is technology. Now you probably know, you get to your research and development screen, or technology screen, from here. And at the start, you've got the global research at the top, with three global research projects going, and your council engineering projects down the bottom. And at the start, you've only got one of those. Now, if you're not sure what the difference between these two are, an easy way to think of it is the global research is the scientific theories, whereas the engineering projects are application of those theories. So, as an example, you might have, say, microprocessors as global research, and then there's council engineering projects, PCs, or Apple Macs. Think of it a bit like that. Now, there's a big tech tree in Terra Invicta. You can find it by clicking on this, and this is the tech tree. It's big. And, well, navigating it isn't always that easy. And, well, you can click on something, and you see all these lines light up. And what those lines are, they're showing you what the prerequisites are. So this particular thing, antimatter mass production, has two prerequisites. Those in turn have a number of uh, prerequisites, and so on. And yeah, it's a bit of a mess. There's also a full tree, because this technology tree is just the global research. If you view the full tree, it also includes all the council engineering projects and you can tell them apart because they've got this little symbol at the end of them. Now, there is a far easier way to, if you know what you're after, there's a far easier way to work out what's needed for it. So if we, for example, go for one of those really popular late game drives, the Daedalus Torch, now, you can sort of try and trace through everything here that's needed to get it. But it's a far easier way. And that's to literally right-click on there. What that does is it brings up that technology and then everything that leads to it. So you can go back and see what it is you need to do. So, for example, here, yep, you need to do mission to space, all these, all these, everything like that. There's some council engineering projects you need to do. And when you've done those, eventually at the end you've got the Daedalus Torch. It's a long, long way away. Now, you've probably... Thank you. You're probably familiar with this bit. So this is where the research is actually spent. Now at the start you've basically got nothing. If you look at this, we've got 38.4 research income a week. Now, the first thing is something you may not be aware of. Notice this, we've got 0.6 research distribution bonus. And what that is, is a percentage bonus based on how many of these different things we are researching. Because if we look at now, say, now saying 43.8, and our research distribution bonus has gone up to 0.24. And if we had these extra two unlocked, it would be even higher. And of course, obviously, because it's a percentage, as our research goes up, that goes up as well. So that's the first little tip. Now, the next tip is Obviously these, this is how much every other faction has contributed. You're probably aware as well that whoever contributes the most gets to choose what the next tech in that slot is. But there's a couple of other things as well. And, oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's use the Daedalus uh, torch again as a good example. Right. 
So, as you research each global technology, you see there's these percentages. Basically, what these mean are some things like, in this case, transnational coordination doesn't have a percentage. That means that once the global research advanced neural networks has completed, eventually every faction is going to be able to research transnational coordination. However, there's only a base 80% chance for each faction that they're going to be able to research contraband scanners. And there's a 40% chance that they'll be able to research urban warfare doctrine, and so on. Now that percentage chance is literally, it's not the chance that it will appear, it's a chance that it even has the potential to appear for them. And that percentage is modified based on their percentage in here. So say, say the urban warfare doctrine one, if you'd put 50% of all the research into quantum computing, you'd have a 40 plus 50, 90% chance of, uh, of having urban warfare doctrine appearing as a council engineering project eventually. It's not an immediate thing. A bit like at the start of the game, you know there are all the various research labs like the social science research lab, uh, the space one, the energy one, the materials one, etc. They're all available for you, but they haven't yet appeared. And what happens is, for the text with, a percent, with that percentage number, if that percentage is succeeded, if you make the roll, then it's there just like, say, the social science lab. And that means eventually it will appear as a technology option for you. And what tends to happen is the chance that it will appear each turn just sort of goes up and goes up, and eventually it will appear. Now, if you don't make that percentage, there is, at the very end of the tech tree, things like Future Tech lets you re-roll effectively to unlock projects. Although it may take a few re-rolls to unlock the one you're after. There's also a tech that increases, gives you a flat 10% bonus to your roll. So that's how the, that part works. Then you've got these extra projects. Well, these are fairly straightforward. If we look at one of your councillors, you see you've got engineering projects. At the moment you've got none. And we don't have any organisations at the moment that have that symbol. But if you had any organisations with that symbol, when they're equipped on a councillor, you'd get a little plus sign there. And you can have up to three plus signs against each councillor. You can obviously have more orgs with the, uh, the cog symbol, but only three per councillor give you a benefit. The first one you get unlocks the extra slot. Any additional give you a bonus to all three council engineering projects if you've got all three unlocked. The final one here is unlocked by the Skunk Works project. Again, if you've got that, you uh, the first one you build unlocks this slot. Subsequent ones give you an increasing bonus. And that is, it doesn't matter what type of research it is it always applies to your projects. There's another sort of bonuses you get which are specific tech type. So in this case we're receiving a, we were receiving a plus five bonus to a search speed for social science from our counsellors. And that is probably where you're going to get the biggest bonuses once you start expanding into space because you could easily be getting a 50% bonus with just a, a single space station with a few points of mission control. Which, yeah, makes a big difference to your uh, research. Likewise, I mean, for example, she's got Technocrat. That's what's giving the 5% social science. The various scientist uh, perks. I don't know if, any, if there are any out here. Let's see. Oh, there's a scientist there. Yep, he's got Doctor. 
For example, just having doctor is a 15% life science search, uh, life science research bonus, and you can actually take that up a couple of levels, and at the top level, it's a 35% bonus for just having that trait. That's chief surgeon, if I remember correctly. So that's how you get the bonuses. The other thing to be aware of for the specific bonuses, doesn't apply to the ones from the COGS, but these specific bonuses, you're not seeing the benefit, you're not seeing it at this case because the bonus is so large, but say you had a 35% bonus, at that, with that, so only one of the social science projects being researched, you'd have 35% in there. If you started researching the other one, it would become 32% in both. So you do get a bit of a diminishing returns, but it's still a case of you getting more overall bonus to your research points by researching multiple than researching one. Now, the final bit is I've already shown you how to find all the tech or, you know, sort of for a specific thing. Now, if we go to the full tree again, thank you. The search is very useful. Full search especially, so If you start typing counsellor, you can see all the projects that allow you to recruit an additional counsellor, and all the projects that let you augment your counsellors. So you've got your basic ones that give you give you extra counsellors, you've got the cyborging for the uh, implants, you've got ones that increase their lifespan, ones that give you more XP on the st when they start. I mean, if you look at that, though, if you've got those three and you need to get a new counsellor, you've got 120 XP, which is, well, at base, six stat boosts. Um, more, obviously, if you've got a counsellor with something like Quick Learner or Striver. But this is a very useful way to find the text you need. Um, there are a lot of tools, a lot of resources out on the internet that can help. But if you combine that with searching, it will give you, it will let you know how to get there. So if you, for example, are after a particular type of drive, because you've looked at the chart online that shows, oh, this has the sort of right sort of performance I'm looking for. You type the name of the drive in there and find out what you actually need to go for. Likewise, if you're wanting to find what boosts boost, you've got the things that give you an increase to boost. So, for example, stuff in the interface the actual projects that give you a good boost, and so on. So you can find everything. So if you're not sure, is there something to do it? My, my, my advice is search for it first, before assuming it's not there. <laughs> because there is an awful lot in this tech tree. Even if you're just looking at the base one. But yeah, that basically is my introduction to technology. I've not given you any, this is the technology you have to go for, or anything like that. The one thing I will say, though, is what can be very important with regards to getting ahead and getting what you're wanting is to control as many of these as you like, i.e., be the one that has the highest percentage when it finishes. Because that then lets you choose what comes next. Because it's no good if you're desperate for a certain tech 
and you're spread out across all three, but ev you're always being beaten in one of them by one of the factions. It'd be far better to concentrate in one or two, win those two, and actually get the text that you're wanting. And if you get a situation where you're actually able to control all three, you then dominate the tech progression because you can choose to be going for things that benefit you but not other people. And of course if you're dominating that also means you've got a higher chance of actually the results the projects you're after coming out you making that percentage roll. But anyway I think I've waffled on long enough so I'm going to uh, say goodbye and catch you next time. Kith on out.